tonight we look not at what the weather has been, but at what it will be. The man you're about to meet does not have a crystal ball, but he can predict with amazing accuracy what Mother Nature has in store. And while some meteorologists may scoff, he's almost always right. Nick Watt has the report. Getting hot in Florida and the heat is moving north. The weathermen say it will bring more thunderstorms and tornadoes to the Midwest. Imminent danger. Yesterday, twisters oh, touched down in Iowa. It's ripping up in the field. And there was flooding in Michigan. Forecasters say this extreme weather pattern may stick around until midweek. Oh, U.S. hurricanes. There you are. That's a good one. Now, take a look at this bizarre little press conference. Where's the cellar that gone now? Held in London 25 days ago. Well done. With the aid of low-tech apparatus and something called the solar weather technique. Yeah, it's just wrong there. A maverick long-range weather forecaster announced his predictions. June the 22nd to 24th. Uh, this is for the USA, a very wide region really. Major thunderstorms and uh, local floods um, with devastating tornadoes, very damaging killer tornadoes I think would be a fair description of them. Damaging hail possibly? Oh yes, hail as well. There's the damaging hail in New Jersey. There are the tornadoes in Colorado but few days early, precursors, Corbin claims, to the imminent main event. And all of this predicted on May 29th, three and a half weeks in advance. What we can do will help the world. Here comes the rain for the commute tomorrow morning. Your a TV weatherman. The position of the jet stream right now is very conducive to getting... Can forecast rain. only... We have lots of cold air in place. a week lots ahead. How far ahead can you predict? We can predict extreme events a year ahead. These storms that thrashed Britain in November 2007 were predicted by Corbyn 11 months before they happened. Piers Corbyn, a physicist by trade, made his first weather predictions 25 years ago. Placing bets based on his hunches, he didn't always win. We had some June some years ago where we said there was going to be snow in June. Um, the snow in June? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we did say that. He's honed his skills, hours spent in this tiny office, and bookmakers now refuse to take his bets. We were making too much money and they stopped us. He's not perfect, no meteorologist is, but he's pretty good. In Kansas City on Sunday, a 32 degree drop. Over the past 13 months, Corbin has predicted nine extreme weather events in the US. You know, it's like March of the Penguins, everyone's head down trying to get to their offices. Including ice storms in the Northeast between the 6th and 8th of January. On the heels of the snow, brutal cold. And blizzards in the Midwest between February 3rd and 6th. These days, farmers like Jeff Philpott buy Corbin's forecasts. It's amazing how accurate he can be on long-range forecasts. He f predicted, for instance, this year that it's going to be very cold between... The coldest part of the winter is going to be between the 6th and 9th of January. And we were able to utilise our knowledge of that and cut uh, the, the cold fire that, that were at risk at that time. We would cut them in advance and cut them very tightly. So the damage was actually... Negligible. On May 29th, when I interviewed Corbin, all I wanted to know was, would the sun shine for my family vacation in Cornwall in early June? We expect that period, the 6th to 9th or so, is going to be part of a solar weather impact period around the world, which will see a lot of thundery developments in a lot of places, and one of those is very likely to be Cornwall. Undaunted, we packed the sunscreen and drove to Cornwall June 6th. Piers Corbin was right. We're on vacation, believe it or not. There's a lovely harbour behind me and the sea and the weather's terrible. Well, anywhere from 35, maybe 40 miles an hour. How does Corbin do it? Making predictions weeks before the TV weathermen. It's now three o'clock and... The exact details of his method are, for now, locked in a bank vault, but he gave us a taste. The weather is not driven just by what's happened in the weather recently. It's driven by what's happening on the sun 
especially the charged particles which come from the sun. So he looks at solar activity, heating or cooling of the stratosphere and its impact on weather systems. He looks for patterns in history that will repeat themselves. He studies the cycle of magnetism on the sun and the eclipse cycle of the moon. Is this a generally accepted methodology or are you looked at as no. a bit of a crank? We are unique and revolutionary and we have a skill which is completely beyond the possibilities of standard meteorology. Can someone potentially hit a storm to the day from 11 months out? Yeah, they could, but realistically, the, the advancement of the science is not at a point where you can do that reliably. Because some standard meteorologists say Corbin's focus on the sun is questionable. The problem is there are far more environmental factors that are involved than just one feature. I'm not saying that Corbin's uh, method is, is flawed. Uh, I, in fact, he probably does have some glimmers or, or grains of, uh, of truth and, and reality in what he says. Also, Corbin is a global warming denier, which means some meteorologists write him off as a crank. I mean, you believe that there's actually global cooling. There is, yeah. And our own understanding of the solar lunar modulation processes means that this general cooling trend will continue until 2030. And the general warming trend that we saw up until the peak in 1998, yeah. do you think? Yeah. Do you believe that was man-made? No, absolutely nothing to do with that. He's also very secretive about his methods, which feeds the scepticism. But that's okay. about to change. Later on this year, we're going to reveal key aspects of the solar weather technique in, in October, October the 28th this year. Why are you revealing them now? Uh, because we think that at some point the world does have to know. So we're waiting for his big announcement October 28th and we're waiting to see if thunderstorms hit the Midwest in the next 24 hours. Measures, perhaps, of Corbin and his techniques. Is he a sage or a charlatan? I'm Nick Ward for Nightline in London.